Around seven kilometers west of Lhasa's city center, it's common to see hordes of sightseers as this area contains an extraordinary building. Many Tibetans also use the surrounding 360,000 square meter park to picnic. Beyond the white outer wall is what everyone has come to see, the former summer residence of the Dalai Lama. The most inner part of the private residence is hidden behind a yellow wall. The entrance gates are usually locked. The Norbuling Ka, or Jeweled Garden, was abandoned in 1959 when the last Dalai Lama made his escape to exile. The occupation and annexation of Tibet by China forced its spiritual and political leader to leave his homeland in the Himalayas. There was once a willow grove here before a representative of the Chinese emperor of the Qing dynasty ordered the construction of a palace for the seventh Dalai Lama. It was later enlarged and named Nobulinka. The picturesque pathway into the residence leads through the bamboo garden. After a few paces, there is the earliest building of the entire complex, the palace of the present 14th Dalai Lama, Tenzin Gyatso. The roof of the new summer palace, that was completed in 1956, is decorated with a striking Buddhist symbol, the sun wheel. The swastika, as the sun wheel is also called, is one of eight symbols of Buddhism that are said to bring good fortune. It's also the symbol of eternity. In excellent condition, the new summer palace of the Dalai Lama is considered to be the most important building in the Norbulinka. Due to the Dalai Lama's exile, the palace is of great symbolic significance for the Tibetan people who have struggled for their independence since occupation by the Chinese. It was built during the reign of the seventh Dalai Lama, but it was the eighth Dalai Lama who was the first to live here. This 18th century pavilion blends harmoniously into the landscape of the park and creates a wonderful atmosphere. Over the years, the large Norbulinka area had further buildings added during the reign of numerous Tibetan monarchs. Adding to the splendid buildings and gardens of his predecessor, the 8th Dalai Lama further enhanced the grounds with beautiful pavilions and glorious scenic splendor. The most outstanding building that dates back to the 8th Dalai Lama is without doubt the Tuzin Palace, set in an idyllic location. Due to the remarkable reputation of the 8th Dalai Lama, he became an important political figure during the second half of the 18th century.
Jamfal Gyatso was the family name of the 8th Dalai Lama, who became an intermediary for the British as well as for the Emperor of China. In the meeting hall of the old summer palace, the god king welcomed important visitors and led many Buddhist ceremonies. The main entrance is decorated with several lion figures that highlight the majestic character of the building. The Street of Lions demonstrates the worldly and political influence that the 8th Dalai Lama enjoyed at the end of the 18th century. The palace complex was gradually extended due to the cutting down of surrounding forests. Daran Migyo was the 7th Dalai Lama's first palace. The small complex is in excellent condition. When the 7th Dalai Lama, Khal Sang Yatso, bathed at a spring on what is today's park, this spot seemed to him to be the perfect location for a summer palace. However, today even beautiful flowers cannot disguise the sad history of this beautifully located summer residence. The palace was built in 1754. In the summer months, it was inhabited by the God King. For the inhabitants of Lhasa, the splendid parade from the Potala to the Norboling Ka on the 18th day of the third moon month was a popular spectacle. On the western edge of the Norbling Car Park is a building that dates back to the 20th century, the palace of the 13th Dalai Lama. The Jiansel Potrang once contained a precious collection of ancient tankers, the colorful banners of Tantric Buddhism. The rule of the 13th Dalai Lama, Tubten Gyatso, was far from peaceful as it was dominated by foreign hostilities. The God King gained much respect in the political world and thus brought about many reforms during his rule. But there was one thing he couldn't achieve. Although he brought independence to Tibet in 1912, it was not given international acclaim. The jeweled garden of Nobulinka well deserves its name. Indeed, the summer residence of the Dalai Lama and its spacious parks are historic and much-loved treasures of a bygone time.